بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يبقى قول أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Thank you very much for joining in and tuning in for a new episode of Only If You Knew Talk about one of Allah's beautiful names I like to also send my salam and alaykum and rahma and baraka to all of you our dear guests and one more time Please introduce yourself, your name, and where you're from. Go ahead. Um, my name is Ahmed. I'm from the USA. Beautiful. My name is Omar from Asia. Uh, my name is Adis. I'm from Bosnia. Mm -hmm. My name is Ray from Indonesia. Indonesia. MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all. Wallahi, and I'll tell you from my heart, yani, I love you all. Hizik for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even though just for a few episodes that we work together and we're making this happen, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us that Allah has since the love towards all of you. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us gathered Yawm al-Qiyamah due to the love that we have to each other. Ameen, Rabbil Alameen. There's a special place for those who love one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you love someone, the Prophet told the Sahabi, you love him, go tell him. If you love a person, go tell him. Tell him, I love you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I followed the Sunnah of Rasulullah by telling you, I love you all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And wallahi, I love those who are watching for the sake of Allah. You know why? Because you're trying to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when I see a person trying to become closer to Allah, then eventually you would love that person. Correct? Makes sense? So we ask God to grant sincerity in our work. May Allah bless this program. May Allah make this program a source of change and improvement to the whole universe. Okay, let's dream, why not? Let's make dua to Allah. He can do whatever He wants. Allah khaliqu kulli shay. Sah? Are you guys ready for this one? It's a little tough, huh? It's going to be tough. Not a tough one, but it's going to be like talking to you personally. You know, think about yourself. When I talk about this name, I want you to think about you. Don't think of people outside. Sometimes when you hear a halaqa, you know what people say? I wish if she is listening to this. I wish if he was here, right? Beautiful. But now pay attention to yourself. I want you to think of yourself. It's a name that Allah gives you an invitation. That invitation, what? What will it do? Revive the hope in you. This name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, had you not know it, you will be unable to leave the consequences of your sins. Some people, they try to memorize the Quran. They try one, two, three, four, ten, twenty times, but they can't memorize. It's due to the effects of the sin. Naam. How can you lift that sin of with that name? Some people, they try to stop bad biting and gossiping. They really want to change, but they can't stop. It's because the effect of the sin. How can they lift it? It's with that name. Some people, they have a very hard time lowering their gaze, looking at the haram. They tr they're trying, but it's not working. They try. It's because of the effect of that sin. How can I lower my gaze? It's with this name. Some people, they try to learn more about the deen, a hadith, Quran. They can't memorize the hadith. They can't do something. Why? Because the effects of the sin. It has effects. How can you lift this? How can you fill your mind with beauty and pure knowledge? It's with that name. That name is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At-Tawwab, at the acceptor of your return and repentance. Now the question is, what does Tawbah mean? What does Tawbah mean? Tawbah means Raja, return. Tawbah means Raja. So Tawbah means that you seek to return to someone. صح? Many times we'd like to return to people after we do a mistake to them. And you want to apologize to them and for them to welcome you back, whether it was in the family, as a friendship and so on. But sometimes you don't apologize. Why? Or you would apologize, but you face a consequence. Let's go with the first case. Why would some people not apologize? You know why? Because they say, if I apologize, I will fear that I will be what? Rejected. صح? I feel that if I say, I'm sorry, they say, move away from me. Don't apologize. Don't accept your apology. So to avoid the embarrassment, I will not apologize. I will not return to that person. Other people, they say, I apologized. But the person said, because your sin, the, the thing you've done towards me, was so big, no matter what you do, I will never accept your apology. And it happened in dunya, right? I will never forget what you've done. Say a sorry as much as you want. Some people, even to our own mothers, when we wrong our parents, and we rush back to repent, and mama, please forgive me, mama, please apologize. I apologize for what I've done. Sometimes, you know what we say? I will not go now. Why? Why will you not go right now? Go to no, not right now. Why? She's angry. Excellent, mashallah. Because she's angry. So you wait until she's calm, relaxed, then you go apologize, right? Yeah. Allah at Tawab, the best of examples. You come to him with the biggest sin in the world, he will welcome you. 
you come to him and you apologize and you repent and he will never embarrass you. You come to Allah at Tawab at any time. Not, don't think he's angry and will come to him. You can come to him any time. Allah will be available. At Tawab is always available for you. Allah is different. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when the Tawbah comes in the Quran, he shows you the word acceptance with it. You look at these two verses. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, غافر الذنب, The forgiving of the sin. The forgiver of the sin. وقابل التوب. The acceptor of the repentance of your apology of your return. You're more than welcome. Come anytime. Ta'al. Tub in Allah. And we ask Allah to make this episode an episode of repentance of all humanity. I mean, Rabbil Alameen. An episode of talking about Allah at Tawab or any other person talking about Allah at Tawab. Any other person. It's not about this program. It's not about me. It's not about us. It's about people putting the effort to learn about Allah at Tawab, no matter what the means are. And we ask Allah to accept the return and may Allah allow them to return to Him. I mean, Rabbil Alameen. Mm -hmm. Allah is different. Allah is in the Quran. Alam ya'lamu. Don't you know? أَلَمْ يَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهُ هُوَ يَقْبَلُ التَّوْبَةَ عَنْ عِبَادِهِ Don't you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that accepts the repentance of his slaves? Look how Allah offers. What more clear invitation do you want? How clear is this? Come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Are you still insisting on not repenting to Allah? You insist? Why, أخي? Is it because there's a sin that you're so attached to that you can't let go? Is there a desire that you feel that you're addicted to? But we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you learn Allah tawab, your mind will change. You will believe that you have the power to overcome that sin. You believe that Allah will welcome you no matter how big the sin that you do. Who is this talk to? Some people will say, Ya Akhi, I'm watching Al Huda channel. I'm a religious brother or sister, Ya Akhi. This tawbah is for the major sinners. Ya Akhi, sah, for major sinners, correct. But not only them, not enough. For also for the minor sinners. Yes, them too, but not enough. For those that are 50-50. They do sins here and do here and there and they repent back and also you have to continuously repent to Allah. Even the believers, na'am, everybody is required to repent to Allah. And Allah said in a very articulate verse, Wallah, you think of it, very beautiful. Allah said, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu. Oh, you what? I mean, believers. Right. Tubu ila Allah. Repent to Allah. Because had Allah said, Ya ayyuha alladheena kafaru, the believer will say, oh, Tawbah is not for me. It's the kafir, it's keen. May Allah accept your repentance. May Allah accept your apology. No. Allah said, yeah, you need amanu. Wake up. You need to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wake up. You have shortcomings. Wake up. We have a lot of sins that we need to ask Allah. Please, Allah, forgive us. Oh, Allah, clean our pages, ya Allah. Oh, Allah, accept our return. Ya Allah, we're trying to memorize the Quran. Ya Allah, we want more knowledge. Ya Allah, we want to lower our gaze. How can the sin and the effects of the sin be lifted? How? by repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tubu in Allah, for everyone. And now we'll go with the major sinners. Those people who commit major sins. Those who don't pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's a severe major sin. To an extent that the ulama, the ulama, they're having a difference of opinion, is the one who left prayer on purpose. One prayer, is he a kafir or not? And they are legitimate scholars, Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal. He talks with evidence proof that those who miss one salah, on purpose, they might be kafir. So the point is, I'm not saying it's a kafir or haram or major sin. The question is, why were you a reason that the ulama were debating on? That's how serious it is. Are you amongst those who don't pray? Then look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Where is their location in Jahannam? Who knows? What would their location be? There's a location for those that don't pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Surah Al-Muddathir. Huh. Think. And I want those watching also to think. Saqar. Sah? Wama adraka ma saqar. And what do you know about saqar? La tubqi wa la tadar. It does not leave a skin untouched by the fire. Very severe. And then people in saqar, when they are asked, Wama ma salakakum fi saqar. What made you be in saqar? What have you done to be in such horrible place? They are in saqar, they're responding. The first reason they say, Excellent. لَمْ نَكُمْ مِنَ الْمُصَلِّينَ That's the first thing they say. Those who delay their prayers, they combine combo prayers because she went to the mall and she prays Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib all together at a time that is inappropriate. All that stuff in the mix, don't these people require repentance? Don't they require repentance? Very severe. Those who do major sins and disrespect their parents. Pay attention, pay attention. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He told the Sahaba, 
ألا أنبئكم بأكبر الكبائر؟ Shall I not tell you of the biggest of the biggest of sins? Wow, very severe, صح? Very severe. في البلاء يا رسول الله. They want to learn. It says, أولا لا ما هي الأول؟ ما هو الأول؟ الإشراك. Excellent. الإشراك بالله. Number two, عقوق الوالدين. Right after shirk. That's how serious of a major of a major sin it is. Don't those people that slam the door in the front of their parents require repentance? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Wallahi, you hear stories that make you cry. You see a son or a daughter that cursing their own parents, making fun of their parents in a way that their parents do not appreciate. These children that their parents says, "Come, bring me this," and they say, "No." You know what Ibn Abbas? One of the narrations I've heard, Ibn Abbas says that you want an example of uquq, an example of a major sin to one's parents. Is that if you were sitting or standing, and you had some dust on your shirt, and you do this, and you knew if you do this, the dust will flow all the way to your parent, and it comes to your parent, that's a major sin. That's akuk. That's how serious it is. If that's a major sin in the sight of Ibn Abbas, then what would he say about people in our time, yelling back? If Allah said, "Oof," don't say "Oof." Not even a word. Breathing heavily, heavily. That's okay. Don't we require repentance? How much repentance do we need? Go through your life and go through the film of your history. How much repentance? Don't we need Allah at Tawab? Don't we need Allah at Tawab in our lives? Look at those people that commit zina, the fornicators. Zina is a severe sin. If this is addressing you, how you commit zina? And by the way, there's a misconception, big misconception. They think zina is only the act of the man and the woman physically together, and that's it. لا, you're wrong. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. فَالْعَيْنُ إيش تَزْنِي The eye commits zina. How is that? وَزِينَ الْعَيْنِ إيش النظر. Looking, looking at something can be zina. Looking at zina is zina of the ayn. Rasulullah said, hearing can be zina. How? Through your ears. The, ear, the ears can do uh, major sin with fornication. How? By hearing. Music that has horrible lyrics. صح ولا لا? Some music has sexual content. And the background music and the sounds will ayyadu billah. I can't even describe it because of TV and people are watching. You know how horrible that zina with the ears. And the legs commit zina. How is that? They walk to the place they want to do something and the zina commits by the leg. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the tongue commits zina. And what's the, the zina of the tongue? Talking. Subhanallah. وَلِسَانُ يَزْنِي وَزِنَاهُ الْكَلَامِ So don't these people require repentance? How many of our youth watch this stuff? So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those who repent to Allah as soon as possible. As soon as possible. So inshallah we'll go for a break and we will continue with Allah's beautiful name at Tawab and things that we see. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum. We'll see you very shortly. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. Continuing talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at Tawab and showing you the sins that we commit, whether major or minor and so on, to make you realize that we need to return back to Allah. We need to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as soon as possible. We mentioned some disrespecting parents and what and not praying and fornication and zina is of multiple things. And those who commit zina, they need to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as soon as possible. Why? Because there's a severe punishment. Severe, wallahi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَدْعُونَ مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرُ وَلَا يَقْتُلُونَ النَّفْسَ الَّتِي حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ For those that do what? They don't do shirk with Allah. And they don't kill an innocent soul. And they don't do zina. If you don't do those, you're excellent. And if you do, وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكْ يَلْقَ أَثَامَ You will face a severe, severe, severe punishment. يُضَاعَفْ لَهُ الْعَذَابِ The punishment will be multiplied and multiplied because zina is a very horrible act. وَيَخْلُدْ فِيهِ مُهَانَ And the person will remain in Jahannam for eternity. Degraded, embarrassed, humiliated. Don't people require repentance before this comes? May Allah protect our youth. وَاللَّهِ الْعَظِيمِ for the elders, for the, and I'm sorry for the shabab that are watching with their families, for the youth, 
Wallah, you need to take care of our youth because of this programs on TV, on internet that show nothing but zina. It's everywhere in the world. So you need to do your best to move away from it. Part of repentance is moving away from the place that is causing you to do that sin. So we do our best to repent to Allah as soon as possible. Wallahi, one brother called me one time. And he, Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam. He said, brother, I want to commit suicide. If he was, what was going on? He said, I just committed zina. Why am I telling you this story? Because the moment of zina, the pleasure is so short. So short and those that amount of iman, as small as an atom weight. They feel a sense of horrible feeling, sahrat, disgusting. Because the believer feels disgust when the sin is happening. They can't wait to purify themselves. They need Allah's name at tawab. So for that person, had he been watching, I already talked to him. You need Allah's name at tawab. And I will explain more, inshallah, if not in this episode, in the following one of ayat and hadith of Allah's offer to those that sinners, major, minor believers for Allah to accept. Look at those that have minor sins. Some people say, Yaqi, fornication, wazina, or kind of this big, big, I don't do this stuff, alhamdulillah. Yaqi, what about minor sins? What about the thousands of sins that you've been doing? Remember this. A mountain is made of small stones. So you might be doing minor sins, correct? But too many of them can be worse than a major sin, perhaps. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, go back to at tawab purify, wipe out that mountain. If, if Ibrahim alayhi salam had a dua, and this to the category of the people that are heedless. You know what heedless means? What that heedless means? Ghafla, ghafilin. They don't know they're doing, what they're doing is wrong. Like, adiyah. This is actually worse than sinning. Why? Why can ghafla be worse than sinning? Why? So the ghafla is, alhamdulillah, as long as I'm good, يعني, I'm fine. The sinner, he knows it's a sin and so on. So what's it, what, why is heedlessness sometimes worse than sinning? Why? Because of repentance. Excellent. So, so basically the sinner feels that he needs to repent. Sah, what he's doing is wrong. Or at least he's like, I need to do something about it because it's wrong. The heedless is all gone. So for those that are watching right now, they say, Allah, this episode is good, يعني, but it's not really related to me. Wallah, you're wrong. You're wrong. Ibrahim alayhi salam. Khalil al-Rahman. Khalil al-Rahman, he is the closest, he's the companion of Allah, linguistically speaking and, and translate literally. Khalil al-Rahman, the closest prophet. Sah? Perhaps he's Rasulullah sallam. But Khalil al-Rahman means very, very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He built what? What did he build? Kaaba. Kaaba, beautiful, sah? Right after he built the Kaaba, and is there any act of worship that is, I mean, there might be, but there's such a beautiful act of worship that is building the Kaaba? An act that is beyond our imagination. How much would Allah reward him? How much did this boost his iman that I just built the Kaaba? Every million or every billions of people that will go tawaf, he will get the reward of it, sah? So you'll feel very good, sah? Now I'm talking to the heedless and to the major and the minor and all believers. Ibrahim, our father. Ibrahim, our prophet. Ali Sami said, after he finished the building of the Kaaba, what did he say? رَبَّنَا وَجَعَلْنَا مُسْلِمَيْنِ لَكَ وَمِن ذُرِّيَّتِنَا أُمَّةً مُسْلِمَةً لَكَ وَأَرِنَا مَنَاسِكَنَا He said, رَبَّنَا Mid dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's multiple dua and I'm focusing on this verse. رَبَّنَا Make us amongst those that surrender and submit to you. And make from our progeny and our children those that submit to you, Muslimin. وَأَرِنَا مَنَاسِكَنَا And show us the rituals and the manasik of Hajj and Umrah, the way to be done. And what did he say next? Say it. Say it. وَتُبْ عَلَيْنَا Ibrahim is asking, Ya Allah, تُبْ عَلَيْنَا Ya Allah. You just finished building the Kaaba. تُبْ عَلَيْنَا Ya Rabb. تُبْ عَلَيْنَا Ya Rabb. Then what about me and you? What about me and you? صح ولا لا? Isn't it time for us to return to Allah? تُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ تُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ Ibrahim realized that I need to repent to Allah and Ta'ala. Then he said, إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ That's what Ibrahim alayhi salam said. So no matter what you do, you have to pay attention to the believers, to those who did not do something for Islam. Doesn't this require repentance? For those who have the energy, they have a little knowledge, and you didn't do anything for Islam, doesn't this require you to repent to Allah and Ta'ala for having not much effort being exerted, which Allah blessed you with? صح ولا لا? Remember, remember the past when you were away from Allah. Remember high school days. Remember elementary school. Remember how far you were from Allah. Shouldn't you repent from those days when you forgot khalas? Tubu ila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no matter what you've done, repent to Allah for not thanking Him enough. Doesn't this require repentance? Repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for every time you didn't say the truth. How is that, brother? 
I'm not saying you're a liar. For every time you said Allahu Akbar, Allah is greater than everything and anything, صح? You said that, right? You mean it? Yes. Why did you think of something else? Doesn't this require repentance? صح ولا لا? Right? Allahu Akbar. Doesn't require. والله, if we only focus on this, we will never stop seeking repentance. For everything, Allahu Akbar. Why are you lied? You just zoned out. So you, that's why after the salah, what do we say? Allahu Akbar. Astaghfirullah. 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 Allah could cover me. I apologize for zoning out. You seek Allah's repentance. You seek Allah's forgiveness. صح? So we all need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us. We need Allah to have repent upon us. I'm not saying this to make you like degraded in the sense of لا, wallahi. Wallahi, I'm saying this out of love. And it's showing you the significance of the sin and the much need we have to Allah at tawab. We're in dire need. We need at tawab more than anything right now, especially when the, when the sins are being made. And now I'll mention, if you don't mind, some verses and a hadith that inshallah will turn the sadness into a smile inshallah. And you will not leave until you are fully convinced that you are in need to repent to Allah ta'ala. Allah said in the Quran, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah says, O oh my slaves that went beyond the limit. أَسْرَفُوا Like you went so much into sins. Don't give up. Ya Allah, he said, don't give up. Allah forgives everything that you can do. Just come back to Allah. إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ He is the most forgiving, He is the most merciful. Subhanallah, what more and clear invitation do we have more than this? Allah is saying, you come apologize and I will accept your repentance. Come no matter how big. Some people, Allah Azim, I get some emails and phone calls. You know what people say? Akhi, would Allah ever forgive me? Haven't you heard this? Will Allah ever forgive me? And they would say, Allah, Allah will never forgive me. How could you say such thing? Never, ever say that ever in your life. Because Allah named Himself at tawab Only if you know at tawab you will never feel that hopelessness in your life. إنه هو الغفور الرحيم He's a tawab al-Rahim. Is it clear? So we need to ask Allah to forgive us in everything that we do. Allah offers more and more. And I mentioned these verses, why? To encourage you. Come on, step up the game. Repent to Allah. Don't wait. You never know when you will die. You never know when will the sun rise from the west. Because at that time, repentance is not accepted. Sahu la? Allah said in the Quran, وَأَنِيبُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ وَأَسْلِمُوا لَهُ Come back to Allah. Surrender. Come back to Allah. Surah. Come. Why? مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَكُمُ الْعَذَابُ ثُمَّ لَا تُنْصَرُونَ Before the punishment comes to you and there's no one to what? Help you out of it. So بسرعة تعال, come back. Wallahi, don't delay. So when will you repent? When will you repent, inshallah? When will I repent? Now. Now. Now we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're not going to delay it. Not till tomorrow. No, no, no. As right now, if you're silent, say Astaghfirullah to Bilay. Astaghfirullah to Bilay. Just be quiet for a second and say Astaghfirullah to Bilay. Astaghfirullah. Whenever you're silent, you zone out, you think of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now we, the episode ends, they think of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, tawbah, we're in need, you don't delay it, you never know what happens to you. But tawbah is for big, big sins as well, that you have to be conscious about, and we'll talk more about it in the next episode. I'll mention one verse, and inshallah, actually you know what, mention two more verses, and we have a little more time. Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَفَلَا يَتُوبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَهِ Shouldn't you guys repent to Allah? What's wrong with you? Allah saying, what's wrong? What's wrong? You think you're too religious for Allah? You think you're Mr. Perfect? What's wrong with you? You don't want to forgive? Allah says, you're oppressing yourself. Allah says, you're oppressing yourself. If you do not repent tonight, you're oppressing yourself. If you don't repent, Wallahi, you're, harming, no, you're not harming Allah. You're harming yourself. The more you delay it, the worse it becomes. The heavier it becomes, the more you want to push it away from you. Wallahi, we need to repent to Allah. And Wallahi, if Allah human beings have the heart of the worst person in the universe, and this is authentic hadith, and we all sinned as the worst sinner on earth, Allah's kingdom will not diminish. Allah's kingdom will not decrease. Allah's izza will never go down. Allah is the Almighty. Allah's honor will always be up and high. But we're in need of Allah at tawab. He doesn't need us. We need to go to Allah at Tawab as fast as possible, inshaAllah. And inshaAllah, we'll continue with more verses and ahadith to encourage you. And we're going to mention the conditions in which you need to fulfill so Allah can accept your repentance, inshaAllah. So you guys ready? Bismillah, tonight we repent, huh? InshaAllah.
Jazakumullah khair. May Allah uh, reward you for coming and attending, paying attention. And I thank all the viewers for keeping the focus with us. May Allah reward you. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.